Hi baby, I'm Rachel Cool. I'm a pro makeup artist and let's talk about color. I can't wait to play today. In my 2021 favorites video, I said in 2022, I want to experiment and play with makeup again. And I know you guys want to do the same. I get a lot of requests for how do I start experimenting with color on the eye. I never really used color on my eye, okay? I was more of a neutral girl until I started having to do makeup for videos and pictures. I don't want to do a neutral eye every day. So I started experimenting with color. Through trial and error and play, I have found that I love light purple eyeshadow and I could do it every single day of my life without fail. <laughs> I would have never discovered that I loved purple eyeshadow and that was my thing if I had not known the basics of how to play and experiment. So in this video, I am not going to tell you what color works best on you. What I can do is give you different tools theories and avenues to go down to find and discover what works for you because that can only be done by you and you alone <laughs> that is truly the only way to find what you love best on yourself i want you to go to your glam station i want you to play i want you to experiment i want you to have fun do things you didn't think you would like because what if you like them now i don't know your taste buds change every seven years why can't your color palette and if it doesn't look good take it off now you know not to go down that way, we can choose something else. If you are somebody that wants to be more playful with makeup, more experimental with makeup, then make sure to subscribe. That is my whole mission, my whole goal in 2022 is to build a toolkit for you to be able to play and experiment. How many times have I said that? Take a shot every time I say play and experiment. I'm sorry. It's the only words I can think of. Also, make sure to check out my TikTok and Instagram. We just have so much fun over there. I love talking to you guys in the comments. We are building such a community over on TikTok where everybody's involved. They were all together. It's so much fun. It's like a party every day, pretty much. <laughs> so be sure to check me out over there. All right, and without further ado, here is how to experiment and play with colorful eyeshadow. Let's go. Okay, people, let's get into it. Yeah, I've got my notes. I swear to God, when I move and I have room um, in my setup, I'm going to get a whiteboard. School's about to be in session. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I am going to be demonstrating it on my eye, but I want to cover a couple basics first. So before we get into any of that, we got to pick a color. Here's how I go about picking colors for me and my clients. So phase one, I look at color theory. I'm not gonna get too much into color theory because it can get really complicated. And again, I wanna keep this on a basic beginner level. But basically, I wanna use color to complement either your eye color, your hair color, or your skin color, or all three, I don't know. I'm gonna quickly pop up an infographic on what colors look best uh, with different eye colors. Now for skin tone, I like to say generally you want to stick with your eyeshadow tone matching your skin tone. Not the depth of your skin, but if you are cool, neutral, or warm. If you have cool toned skin, stick with cooler tones. If you have warm toned skin, stick with warmer tones. Neutral, you can kind of waver between both. Are these hard and fast rules? Absolutely not. No makeup rule is. If you have cool toned skin but you love orange eyeshadow, Go with it, which is where I go into phase two. Phase two is look around you. What colors do you see yourself surrounded by most often? Go to your closet. If you're a person that mostly wears black, white, and gray, what colors do you have? What colors do you use to accent your pieces? Handbags, jewelry, wall colors, accessories, house decorations. When you go to buy flowers, what color flowers do you normally buy? Just by looking around you, you can quickly see what colors you gravitate towards most. <laughs> I like pink, obviously. Trust your intuition that you do gravitate towards colors that work best for you. And try experimenting with that color eyeshadow. Color theory is incredibly valid, but your opinion matters most. What you like. So if color theory doesn't align with what you like, screw color theory. Color theory is not going to be upset that you didn't go with it, okay? <laughs> 
It's just a nice base if you don't know where to start. So now that we have a better idea of what color we want to use, we can now go in two different directions with color. Now again, I'm keeping it at a basic beginner level. There are a million things you can do with colorful eyeshadow, but when you're just starting out, I like to keep it simple and narrow it down. You can go with a full eye look where there are multiple variations of one color, or you can use that color to do a pop of color where it is just an accent or accessory of color. I'm going to be showing you examples of both. Let's start with the full eye look. If we're going with a full eye look, you are going to want four shades that go with the color that you picked. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of 70s today. I got my Peter Frampton shirt on. <laughs> my 70s babies will know who that is. So I kind of want to do blue. Now, yes, I surround myself with a lot of pastel colors, a lot of pastel pinks, purples, and blues. I am a neutral skin tone, and I think pastel and muted shades look best on neutral skin tones. But like I said, every makeup rule is meant to be broken, and what I want, in my opinion, is more valid than a rule or theory. And I want to do blue today. This is the Alexis Stone palette. Wapa! You got lots of shades to choose from, and what I like is that they all have variations of the same shade, so it's really easy to create a look with one color. The four shades go as follows. You need a base shade. This is the center of the look. It's how we determine the other shades that we choose. It's going to be the middle of the tones, so we can go lighter and darker to build. It's also how we are going to blend the other colors together. The next shade we are going to look at is your contour shade. This is going to be two to four shades darker than your base shade. This is going to help define our crease, our lower lash line, our upper lash line. Wherever you are wanting to create shape, and shadow, that's what we're gonna use our contour shade for. Where do you wanna create shape on your eye, you ask? Well, I have a whole series going right into that very subject. On my page under the eye shapes playlist, I have basic eyeshadow looks on every eye shape. Monolids, you are coming soon. With the holidays and COVID, I got a little off track, but monolids, your video is coming. Wherever we put contour, we have to follow up with highlight. So our next shade is going to be a highlighter shade. This highlighter shade goes where you want to bring focus. It goes where you want to bring things forward. It's two to four shades lighter than your base shade. And it can be matte or shimmery if you want to add a little pop of some cute. And lastly, we have our definer shade. This is going to be way deeper and darker than your base shade. A lot of times people will choose black or dark gray or dark brown as their definer shade. This is going to be used as liner. It's going to be used to define our lash line. Anywhere you wanna add a ton of depth is where you're going to put your definer shade. This is the color used in the smallest amount on the eye. So if we're going with the blue column, I'm probably going to choose one of these two shades. They're very similar for my base shade. Yay. I'm going to probably choose this shade to be the contour shade. If this is my base shade, this is my contour shade, then all the way up here is going to be my highlighter shade. So because our blue range isn't super wide, I'm gonna go ahead and use black as our definer shade. You can create an endless amount of eye looks with different combinations of these four shades. I'm gonna be doing the more basic version, just again, keeping it simple. But just so you know, these four shades you can combine in a ton of different ways. This is where I want to throw it to you to start experimenting of where you want to put these four shades. I just want to show you an example. I was going to use this, but I know I do purple eye looks literally every single time. Dose of Colors creates amazing beginner palettes. They kind of lay it all out for you with an extra shade. So you've got your base shade, highlight shade, extra highlight shade. This is a great beginner palette for color if you want it all in one go. The Dose of Color palettes are really awesome. Here I am going in with shade one, our base shade. Your base shade is what is going to be going in the widest uh, surface area on your eye. It takes up the most space. So I'm just applying it all over the lid. All right, we got shade one on and ready to go. Next, I'm going into shade two, our contour shade. Where I wanna create shape and depth in my eye is in my crease, so I'm going to just pop that in the crease. And this line right here to kind of lift the eye up and create a guide for eyeliner. Now remember what I said about shade one, the base shade can be used to blend out, so now I'm gonna go back into my base shade 
and just kind of diffuse that contour shade a little bit. Now I'm going to go into my highlight shade. I'm not really satisfied with the highlight shade on this palette. I don't think it's light enough. I'm gonna take my Illa Masqua single eyeshadow. This is an amazing shade, especially for 60s and 70s eye looks. Like, stop. Because I want this in a more controlled area, I'm going in with a flat brush. I wanna bring my eyelid forward to create dimension on the eye. So I'm going to pack that shade on the lid. I'm also gonna take that on the brow bone because I wanna lift there as well. This is going to be venturing into 80s territory. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with my contour shade to redefine a little bit. When I don't wanna add any more color but I do wanna diffuse a little bit and blend, I just go in with a clean brush back and forth to blend everything. I'm also gonna go ahead and take that shade two contour shade under my eye. To tie it all in together, I'm going to be using a highlight shimmer shade. You know I can't live without shimmer, so. This is the BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette. I'm gonna go into a light blue, whatever the highlight shade is, just with shimmer. And I'm going to be placing that everywhere I put my matte highlight. <gasps> I feel electric. I'm gonna place this a little bit under my eye as well on my lower lash line because I just am obsessed with that, sorry. Now I'm gonna go into our definer shade, which is going to be black, and I'm gonna be running that along the lash line and then creating a slight wing. And there we go. Using four to five variations of one color, we have created a complete eye look, one, two, three. So that was just a quick demonstration of how to choose some shades and kind of where to place them on your eye. But now we're going to get into pop of color. And yes, I'm gonna look crazy like this the whole time. You can add a pop of color to a nude eye. You can add a pop of color to a neutral eyeshadow look. You can add a pop of color to a smoky eye. Doesn't matter, a pop of color can go anywhere. One way I love to add a pop of color is just taking a naked eye, taking a shade kind of like this, and just placing that all over the lid. Um, and that's it, and then mascara. I think there's something so cute and sweet about a look like that. It reminds me of how women used to do their eyeshadow in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Just a little color on the lid is like cute. One of my favorite ways is to do a pop of color just on the lower lash line. I think blues and purples are so cute, but greens and reds are also very flattering as well. This looks really pretty on round eyes. It's great for hooded eyes. When you don't have a lot of lid space to work with, let's think about going under. I love doing this with eyeliners. NYX Epic Wear is a great line that does not move. So I'm just gonna pop that on my lower lash line. Anything with shimmer is going to add a really pretty sparkle. You can even wing it out a little bit. I mean, just a little mascara, like, that's so cute. We can also look at graphic liner. I love graphic liner in the form of dots, lines, geometric shapes. This is my favorite way to add a pop of color to my look. I'm just gonna run through some graphic liner ideas using same blue, but in a liquid liner form. I love following the shape of my upper lid, but going above that, so like this. And then even connecting it from my outer lash line or connecting it from my lower lash line, just creating this cute shape. I think it's so fun. You know I love doing dots, so I'll do a couple dots. Okay, you can't see the dots, but they're there, I promise. <laughs> Experiment with shape. Try to follow your natural eye shape. I will be having a series on eye shapes with graphic liner because there are ways that you can accentuate and enhance your eye shape by what lines or dots um, you do. Let's think about contrasting colors. If you have a color on your lower lash line that is blue, contrasting to blue is orange, and pop an orange on my lid. Now that's fun. So if you want something a little bit more poppy and graphic, whatever your base color is, choose the color opposite on the color wheel to add a very nice contrast, like this. So there you go, those are the two different avenues I like to go down for experimenting with color on your eye. All right, there you go. There was a basic beginner way to start experimenting and playing with colorful eyeshadow. I really hope this helps facilitate fun in makeup. I really hope you discover that things you thought you could never do or never put on your eye 
actually work out quite well. I love hearing your guys' stories, so whatever you play and experiment with, please comment down below what you found worked, what you found didn't work. What's gonna be your shadow color of 2022? Mine's still light purple, I'm sorry, I can't give it up. If you want to stay a part of this cute little group, make sure you subscribe. Oh, by the way, I am now only posting videos on Sunday. I just kind of found that with two videos a week, I was focused more on quantity than quality. So I kind of want to take a step back, focus on planning and editing to the best of my abilities. Um, so I'm now just going to be posting once a week on my YouTube on Sundays, usually at 2 to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. <laughs> I hope you guys have such a good day. I hope you play and have fun. And yeah, I love you so much. Okay, bye.